In today's video, we're taking a look at the 4G Zega Solar CCTV kit. I like this for several reasons, mainly that it's a solar powered unit, it has 4G connectivity, it has a free application, has night vision, pan till zoom, two way audio and much more. We'll take a look at all of the features in this video. This unit was sent out for review by Zega but that does not affect my thoughts or opinions. We're not linked to or sponsored by Zega in any way. Although the links in the description are Amazon affiliate links. Okay, let's get into this then. As you can see, it comes well presented in this large box and everything is packed nice and neatly and safely. Everything is included, the solar panels, the camera, the mounting brackets, the USB leads, all of the hardware, and we also get a quick start guide and one of these little stencils. Now, I really like these little stencils. They make fitting so easy. And as long as you get this level, pretty much anybody can do this. Okay, let's start with the camera then. So we've got a simple toggle switch on the bottom, which is an on and off switch. This is protected with a rubber grommet. We've also got the USB-C access port here. You can open up all or part of this. We're just gonna do a quick test here. The solar panel is getting light from my studio light, so we should get a blue indication light. Yes, we do. So everything's connected nicely there. We also get a free application. I'll show you how to install the application and how to use it all in just a moment. But first, let's talk more about this camera. We have a little rear speaker on the back there. That's for like the alarm siren and stuff like that. I'll show you that later. Then we've got these two receivers here that fold and twist. They've got a full range of movement. The camera itself feels like it's quite a good quality. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It is mostly constructed from plastic. On the front there, we've got a microphone and we've also got the infrared sensor. Then we've got four torches. These are like spotlights and the camera lens. On the bottom, we've got a reset switch, the 4G SIM card slot and a memory card slot for your SD card. Now, you do not get an SD card included here, so you will need to use your own, and you will need to use one of these, especially if you want to access your video recordings for free. I'll show you how to do this shortly. So, I'm just using a standard 64GB SD card here. I'm not sure on the capacity limit for the SD card. I'm using a 64GB, this works fine, and I can access all my videos. An important thing to point out as well, which is really impressive, is the battery life on this thing. To be honest, I've been trying to exhaust the battery on this, and it's been running for around two weeks now. I've been triggering it and setting it off quite regular, and uh, we've been doing loads of testing with it, and I can't seem to exhaust the battery on this. So that's one thing I'm going to say right away. I think the battery is very, very impressive. We will find out for sure in a few weeks, I guess. But um, I'm going to leave the solar panel off for now because I want to know roughly how long it takes for the battery to die. So this is the solar panel. The solar panel comes in two pieces. It simply pops together like so, and then you use this plate to hold it all sturdy. You get these little Allen bolts. One for each corner. And then we'll use the Allen key. You want to tighten these up, but you don't want to do them too tight. So I'd say when they feel snug, just give it a fraction of a turn. And then we also get the arm. So before we do anything, we're going to just tighten this up. Stop that swaying around everywhere. We do both sides, so that gives that some stability now. And then the arm simply fits like so. We'll snug it down and see how it feels. But I would definitely like to see a washer or two here. And then the same for the back one. Then we're going to join the solar cable. So this is to connect the two panels together. It is keyed, so it only goes in one way. You can't get this wrong, but it does also have an arrow on the top. So that's the solar panel. That's completely ready to go now. So next, we want to install the application. This is a free application, and you can get this on the Google and the Apple stores. Simply click Android or the iOS version, and then you want to install the Ubox application. 
you will need to create yourself an account, especially if you want access to all your footage and you want notifications live and things like that. It's really simple to use. I just accept the basic permissions and set up an account with my credentials, email and password. Then you want to set your location to whatever country or state or province that you're in. And then you want to go ahead and sign into your account so we can connect to the camera. I would recommend doing the setup process before we fit the camera to the wall in case we need access to the reset button or the memory card slot or anything like that. Now this is one of the features that I really like. The app actually talks you through it. It tells you what to do with simple instructions. Insert the SIM card, install the camera, install the antenna, then power on the device. The blue LED will light up after about one minute. Click Next. Scan the QR code on the camera to connect to your phone. That means the QR code on the top of the camera, there's like a small QR code sticker that's on the top of the camera's casing that you need to scan. Enter the camera name and address. Using default name and address can go to the next step directly. Camera installed successfully. Once you're set up correctly, you can now go and choose your location. I used mine in the backyard, but with it being solar powered and 4G, you could use this anywhere really, whether it be home or commercial premises. You could even use it out on farmland and things like that. It also looks good once it's set up. The image quality is quite good, we've got an SD mode and a HD mode and as you can see you've also got the four directional arrows for your pan, tilt and zoom. No issues at all with any of the functionality, everything works as it should and it's a reasonably good image at full 1080p. I think it's really effective at night time as well, it does have night vision but because of the spotlights it actually lights up my backyard really really well. As you can see from the image here that is quite bright and if I go out into the yard it is also quite bright outside. The floodlights do a fantastic job of lighting up the immediate area. All of your videos are accessible by the cloud service and you can access the calendar to identify particular events and things like that. You can also access all of your footage from your memory card, but the cloud service is actually a paid service. You do get a free trial and there is a few more options to extend this free trial. This is a paid service and with it being a paid service, it's one of the only downsides really that I can say about this camera, but that's my opinion. For other people, these data plans may be absolutely ideal. Now, you can get them as low as $12.99 for one month and they go all the way up to 24 months for $179.99, but you can also select six month options or 12 month plans, and overall I think they are fairly priced. $12.99 a month is not too expensive really for a live cloud service to your home or to your premises. And as long as your camera is active, you can access your video files from your SD card by simply switching over from cloud to SD. All of your options and settings are really easy to navigate and everything's really clear. We do have two settings tabs. We have our general settings and our profile and then we have the advanced settings here which is where all of your motion detection and your floodlights, all of your customization and things are all here in your advanced settings. The alarm siren is quite loud and it actually made me jump a few times even though I knew it was going to be triggered. It still made me jump and caught me off guard which is quite good. It's going to do the same thing to any intruders. Also, if there was a power outage or anything like that, this would not affect you. You could still access all of your videos and everything else as the camera is completely isolated with its own solar power, which trickle charges, and then its 4G connection, which is one of the real strong points for this camera. This camera is available on Amazon. It is currently Amazon's choice. It has over 1,400 reviews with a 4.6 star rating, which is fantastic. And you can also get yourself 30% off right now as it's currently priced at $139.99 in the UK at the time of recording. All the links in the description to Amazon will be affiliate links. And I do want to say thank you to everybody that uses the affiliate links. You are directly supporting the channel and we really, really appreciate that.
We've got to say guys, overall, I really like this camera and I am going to continue to use it for the time being. If you guys found any part of this video helpful or enjoyed it at all, please consider leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel with your notifications on, that way you never miss any future uploads. Thanks to each and every single one of you guys for being here. I appreciate all of you guys and until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews and I'll see you in my next video.